Hello, brilliant jewelry channel. Welcome to this new tutorial. So last week we've modeled this fantastic enamel ring and blender. Today I want to do technical drawings because you know technical drawings in jewelry are a huge classic. They always look very awesome and attractive. Let's keep making professional 3D jewelry design in Blender. Here, let's first take the ring, this part, go to edit mode. Now let's select the lowest vertices. Select these, do a shift S cursor to select it, exit edit mode, do an object, set origin to 3D cursor. Now select all your elements with A and position your elements to zero. Now do a control A, apply location. Your elements are now positioned. Save and be happy. Now we're going to create cameras. Add camera. Front view numpad one. Do an alt control zero. The height of the ring is 26. Position of the camera zero minus 60, 13. Camera type orthographic. Adjust the scale as needed. I will go at 35. Call this camera front. Now copy the camera, shift D, go to side view, go to scene, camera to the copy. The copy is going to be camera side. Now do an alt control zero. Position of the camera, 60, zero, 30. Keep the same scale. Now let's do a top camera, shift D, top view, scene, camera to the copy, hold the copy, camera up. Now do an alt control zero. Position of the camera, zero zero sixty keep keeping the same scale now we're going to make the isometric camera shift d call this camera camera isometric go to scene camera active camera to camera isometric come here to your favorite 45 degrees isometric view with all control zero rotation of the camera x 45 degrees y zero degrees z minus 45 degrees grab the camera center the view now put the closest even number minus 40 minus 40 we adapt the z-axis 68 68.5 or whatever works for you now personally i prefer the 30 degrees isometric view rotation x 60 degrees we adapt the z location 45 save and be happy now let's freestyle it go to render down here freestyle turn it on we're going to use the default settings now we can go to view layer passes down here in freestyle first thing we want to turn on is as render pass yes we're going to separate the freestyle render from the rest and turn on the view map cache because our geometry won't be changing anymore now let's do a render f12 cycles is going to render normally remember the settings and materials for this render were made in the enamel modeling and rendering tutorial go check it out now cycles is rendering the freestyle let's have a look at what we get with the default settings now the render is done. Remember in this occasion, I'm working at 4K square, 2160 pixels square. And remember that the freestyle is pretty heavy on the hardware. So tweak that accordingly. Here, it took around three minutes to complete the render at 4K. You should know that the freestyle is pretty slow to render. Now we can go to view layer to the freestyle result right here it's interesting it's pretty good but clearly we are missing some lines that we would like to have by example in the diamonds so the default settings are not enough for what we want let's go and see ways and options we have to tweak this and get a better result so here for the diamonds go to edit mode select everything edges edge mark free style edge exit edit mode now remove the view map cache because it needs to update the geometry go to freestyle line set now add the edge mark go to render a lot faster obviously because the amount of geometry is what affects the more the freestyle rendering go check the view layer freestyle result right here this is very nice for the technical drawing of the diamonds save and be happy
Now here for the rest of the jewel, you must take a decision. Here I have almost 6 million spaces. It's a lot of geometry. It makes the rendering times a lot higher, a lot slower. So remember, the freeze style in Blender is very powerful. Many settings and options to create amazing line art in Blender but don't exaggerate on geometry but if you remove geometry obviously you are going to lose some quality so here you need to decide what you want to prevail in your line art using freestyle i'm going to take the ring go to modifiers add modifier decimate almost four millions and a half let's go 10 percent of that 0.1 decimate this and reduce the geometry I'll be back with a much lower face count, but, but the geometry will still look pretty much the same. Good, now I lowered my geometry to 1 million faces. Go back to the freestyle options, freestyle line set. Now we're going to turn on suggestive contour and ridge and valley. Put back the elements to rendering. Don't forget to turn back on the view map cache. Let's make a render F12. Now it's going to be a lot faster obviously we have a lot less geometry here it goes here it is go check the result few layer free style now we have all the elements we need don't forget to image save rgba yes we need the alpha compression zero percent tech drawing isometric view save and be happy now make the other views let's go to scene camera run make the render f12 let's go save the front image and be happy let's go to scene camera side make the render f12 let's go save the side image and be happy now go to scene camera top let's make the render f12 let's go save the top image and be happy so we've made all these pretty images and so what now create new collection call it technical drawings move this there and hide your jewel collection now top view add mesh plane size 10 move it here minus 8 8 0 call it top drawing make a shift d on the y-axis move it here minus eight call it front drawing now make a shift d on the x-axis eight call it side drawing now make a shift d on the y-axis eight call it isometric drawing save and be happy now let's go to shading select the top drawing create a new material call it top drawing go to add texture image texture plug it to base color open and bring the top view image um, now make a render preview oh my god we have nothing this is because of the alpha so plug the alpha to alpha here now we have our beautiful top view in the render let's go to world here we have an hdr for the background or axr whatever you prefer mixed is camera ray light path to the factor of the mix and the background rgb color i'm going to set the rgb to one now let's go back to the object shader here add color brightness and contrast let's set the contrast to one and the brightness to minus one set specular to zero roughness to zero we're good to go also if you want set the interpolation to cubic it's a bit better quality now for the color management let's go to row this is much better now let's take the front drawing set the material to top drawing make a copy of the material call it front drawing and let's bring our pretty front view image now take the side drawing take the front drawing material make a copy of the material and call it side drawing go to the image and bring the pretty side view image now take the isometric drawing 
set to the side drawing material, make a copy of the material and call it isometric drawing to get this wonderful isometric image. Here we are. Save and be happy. Now, if you think there's too much distance between your drawings, select the drawings uh, with shift, go to individual origins, pivot point and scale any way you want. Um, I will go at 1.4, save and be happy. Now go add camera, set the camera resolution to anything you like. Call the camera, camera drawings. Go to scene, set the active camera to camera drawings. Do an alt control zero. Adapt the scale and the resolution of the camera to whatever you need. Save and be happy. Now go back to layout, camera view, Render preview, go to add mesh cube, put it here near the corner, go to materials, new material, solid black, base color, full black, specular zero, roughness zero, do a control A, all transforms, add modifier, mirror on the X and Y axis based on the camera drawings. Here, go to edit mode, readapt the scale to create a small border keep tweaking go to x rays with alt z do not a b select this side extrude on the x axis until the ends meet here go back to the cube select the lower vertices extrude on the y axis until the ends meet here exit edit mode call this cube border save and be happy now copy this border shifty move it here remove the mirror modifier all this pack stitches go to edit mode solid view vertices only keep this plane go back to render preview make it the size of the drawing strokes tweak the position now come up here put it under the border there make a shift d on the y-axis scale it nine times add an array modifier on the y-axis to tweak the distance exit edit mode go to add mesh cube bring the cube here tweak its size to this distance make a shift d on the y-axis come here now tweak the exact distance and multiply the count this is great make a render preview go to materials make a copy of the material call this one middle gray check the alpha to 0.25 Make the stitches, make all the copies you need for your technical drawings layout. Once your layout is done, save and be happy. Now we must indicate the measurements and some annotations. Let's take the border, shift D, make a copy, remove the mirror modifier, go to edit mode, select everything, delete everything. Add circle with many vertices, close it with F, scale it as needed, come here. Now add a plane, scale it, make a shift D, rotate 45 degrees. Take the other element here, scale, adapt the position here. Now take the straight line, be very precise. Edit edit mode, add text, go to edit mode, write down what you need, diamonds. 2 millimeters. Exit edit mode. Go to materials. Put the solid black to the text. Scale the text as needed. Keep tweaking anything you need. Change the font if needed. Keep tweaking the details. Save and be happy. Now let's add some measurements. In object mode, add mesh plane. Material solid black. Go to edit mode. Scale. Take this side. Subdivide. Take the other side, subdivide, take the middle vertices, move here, take the side vertices, extrude, scale on the x-axis. Now let's take the three center vertices, extrude on the y-axis, adapt the thickness as wanted, select everything, scale as needed, select everything, put the arrow into place, take this tip vertex. Copy on the y-axis here. Select the tip again, F to make the segment. Extrude on the x-axis by 0.25. Take the center again, extrude on the x-axis again, minus 0.25. Now, take this vertex, delete this vertex, 
take these edges, delete edges. We're going to separate this line F. So the arrow is separated. Keep tweaking the thickness as you like. Select everything. Shift D on the Y axis. Make a copy. Now scale on Y minus one. Invert the arrow. Put it into place. Select the bottom. Tweak the position as needed. Exit edit mode. Call this arrow 0 0.001 save and be happy now create a copy shift d rotate 90 degrees which edit mode keep tweaking anything you need exit edit mode save and be happy now select the ring again remember we always model the jewels in my tutorials at the real life scale so the 3d model has exact measurements this ring is 10.5 millimeters wide, 26 millimeters high, and 25.9 millimeters large. A size 8 American finger size, internal diameter of exactly 18.2 millimeters. Now I can add this data to my technical drawings. 25.9. Let's tweak this arrow here. Here we have 26 millimeters. Here we have 10.5 millimeters. Copy the text, tweak the positions. Keep adding the data where it belongs and you'll be done in no time. We're ready to make the render F12. I'm doing a 8K render. The result is ready to be printed, painted and manufactured. Don't forget that we use the technical drawings for the hand wash painting of the jewels obviously with a different layout using the same techniques then it's up to you to use your creativity and imagination to create the most amazing blueprints in blender take care see you soon